Emily in Paris? Not so much. Antonia in Toulon, France. Welcome to another episode of Lady Captain. And today, after cruising around the beautiful France, I got inspired to do an episode about the one and only Coco Chanel. We were just in the city of love during Fashion Week. And I cannot not do a video about the legendary Coco Chanel. This is one of the most sophisticated label there is. And there are six easy ways to bring Chanel-like fashion into your everyday wardrobe. And today we will discuss exactly that. How to bring Chanel-like flavor into our everyday wardrobe without breaking the bank. However, in order for us to understand the label of Chanel, I think it's important to understand the woman that started the label, the woman behind the brand. And of course, that is Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel was born in 1883 in northern France under the name of Gabrielle Bunior. And she has a quite of a tragic beginning of her life as uh, at the tender age of six, she actually lost her mother and her father decided to give her to an orphanage. So uh, she lived there uh, from six years old until 18 years old. She basically, her whole child was there to a young adult and she was raised by the nuns. And exactly the nuns were the ones that taught Coco Chanel how to sew. And once she turned 18, she was politely asked to leave the orphanage as everybody else and she made a living outside of the orphanage for a very first time on her own as a seamstress. And that's what she was working uh, during the days. And during the nights, she was actually working in cabaret. And in that cabaret was exactly the place where she was captivated by the woman's beauty. She was inspired uh, to create clothing. However, she needed uh, just the right people in order for her to start her business. And exactly at the cabaret, she met somebody, a gentleman that really believed in her talent and stood behind her and she started a millinery business. And actually in the cabaret was also very significant because that was for the very first time where she adopted the name, the stage name, Coco. And um, that gentleman stood behind her, behind her talent. She started her millinery business and she did quite well. However, she had much bigger vision. And later on, there was another gentleman that also believed in her talent. Even this was a textile producer. The second one was even bigger and richer. And he actually, uh, for the first time, helped her start her own label. Millinery business really took off, but uh, she really wanted to have her own label to design clothing and everything really, and everything else. And this is the gentleman that actually made her dream come true. And uh, in a matter of a uh, short amount of time, they opened quite a few shops all over the coastline of France and uh, she became an instant hit. So this is where her first trend comes into place that I would like to discuss uh, with you today that I think every elegant woman should bring into her uh, wardrobe and that is the sailor stripes. Any type of fashion that has stripes just appears so French. So French, and what is French? French is elegance, French is sophistication. This is how the modern woman should look like. So bring stripes into any type of occasion and I guarantee you, you will look very put together, very modern, very elegant, and very timeless and sophisticated. And we see this trend just going around and going around and it just never goes out of style. And those are exactly the pieces that we're looking to have in our wardrobe. And now I would like to discuss the Chanel-like trend number two. And as you can imagine, we cannot discuss Chanel without discussing the pearls. And actually, when Coco Chanel was introducing pearls into her designs and into her fashion and her style, she was not going for the real pearls only. She was actually looking for that exaggerated, big pearls 
mixed with real pearls. So this is what Chanel-like pearls are. They're exaggerated look of real and fakes. So don't be afraid to design your own Chanel pearls look mixing fakes with real. And now I would like to move on into the third trend, Chanel-like trend, that every sophisticated woman should have in her wardrobe, and that is the tweet. And we've discussed tweet in previous videos, but this is where it really originated. The tweet-like suit is iconic, it's timeless, it's classy, and every woman should have perhaps a jacket, perhaps a skirt, perhaps a coat, any piece of tweet will bring elegance into your wardrobe. And right now tweet is so in style, so there's so many different variations in any price range. So if you would like a little bit more uh, timeless look, perhaps look for something black, white or black and white. But Chanel is known for this pink tweed jackets or suits and any kind of color. So if you have a particular color in mind and you're very passionate about uh, some color, please feel free to bring any kind of color to your uh, wardrobe. You will feel, you will instantly feel more polished and put together and sophisticated and modern because this is another timeless look that just never goes out of style. So very bravely invest in that trend that is going around now, but it will last a lifetime. And another trend are the shoes, Chanel two-tone shoes. And many different brands make that trend. So you can again, once again, find it in any different price range. But the two-tone, especially white or black or nude with black or, you know, cream or with black is just so timeless and elegant. You know, you can have a little bit of, of, of a heel or you can have the flats. Any type of variation will just polish your look immediately. And that's just such an easy shoe to wear and combine with anything. So we all should have that in our wardrobe. And then the next trend, Chanel-like trend, is the little black dress. This is a gift that keeps on giving. Chanel, Coco Chanel, brought that into our life and I'm sure it will never leave us behind because this trend is so timeless, is so elegant. Perhaps you should update your uh, little black dress time to time as the trend change a little bit. But it's such an easy way to style yourself very elegantly, very fast, and perhaps if you combine the little black dress with the pearls, with the two-tone shoes, you just look priceless. You just look like coming out of a magazine, and you know, when you look at your picture, you will never know if that picture was taken in the 70s, in the 2000s, or you know, when your children are looking at those pictures once again, you look so relevant and timeless at any age, at any time. Any black dress that is just simplistic version uh, and accessorized with exaggerated pearls and those beautiful two-tone Chanel-like shoes will give you this polished look immediately. So if you ever have to go to a party last minute and you don't have a chance to really put together an outfit for a special occasions, always go for the little black dress with some accessories and some Chanel-like shoes. And the last Chanel-like trend that is timeless and elegant and sophisticated is the Chanel purse. And of course, if you can afford the real Chanel bag, go for it. However, they are very pricey, but they're also very simplistic. So you can bring that look very easily by getting uh, this beautiful black simple leather bag with some chain uh, perhaps in your color variation, if you prefer golden, go for the golden. If you prefer silver, go for the silver. And that will give you a perfect purse, a perfect addition to any outfit. So of course, once again, if you can go for the real one, perhaps uh, go and buy yourself and treat yourself because that will be a piece that will last you a lifetime. And this will be a piece that you can actually even give to your children. You can purchase a vintage one as well. But if you cannot afford the real one, make sure to buy something simplistic, perhaps with real leather, with some uh, classy chain, 
that will actually match any outfit. And as I said, we already have the little black dress, we have the pearls, we have the shoes, and now we have the handbag to go with it that will give you that polished look immediately. So ladies and gentlemen, to understand of, uh, the label, to understand, to understand the fashion, to understand uh, Chanel, I thought it was important to look at behind the story of Coco Chanel. And her story is quite complicated. As we saw, she had a rough upbringing. She made the best out of it. She followed her passion. She found the right people that made sure um, her talent was seen and it was there to shine. However, the war started and uh, uh, she was accused of being a spy for Winston Churchill, I believe, and uh, the French were very, very hard to forgive her after the war. And this is still kind of a conspiracy. It's not exactly proven. However, yes, um, it was very much, uh, uh, you know, scar her fashion forever because even after the war, even though she came out with a new, completely groundbreaking collection, the French were very slow to forgive her. However, um, years and years later, once uh, Carl Lagerfeld, Carl Lagerfeld joined uh, the Chanel, uh, the new era of Chanel uh, started, and a very successful one. Right now, it's known that the label is owned by two billionaire brothers, but it's still not known, are they doing that just for uh, prestige, or it's really a money-making label? because they're pumping a lot of money into it. However, how long it's uh, going to continue is very much unknown. However, forever we can take those six fashion trends that I just went over and forever we can have a Coco Chanel in our wardrobe, even if it's not coming from the Chanel stores. Ladies, I hope you enjoyed this episode that was inspired by me walking the streets of Paris, inspired by the Fashion Week. I hope to see you in another episode on Lady Captain.